I've been trying to make this video for the past hour now and I'm done. I'm tired. I just want to sleep all day. I don't want to do anything else. I am so embarrassed. I apologize if I get a little emotional during this, but I am so scared. I'm so scared. I messed up. I messed up big time. I don't know what happened. It's, it's so frustrating. I, it was like I wasn't in control. I came up with this month long plan to, I, I can't even say it, man. I, I don't even want to say it, but I wish that video never happened. Truth, the truth. Yeah, right. Somehow, some ideas were planted into my mind that made me think that I was the second coming of Jesus? I, that's insanity, I get it. I get that that's insane, like, I need help. I, I actually believe that. And trust me, like, this is the real me. Please, I hope you can see that, like, I have my shirt off, okay? This is who I want to be. I just want to go back to making those videos, man. I want to go back to being Connor Murphy. My life was great. Why? What? What, what happened to me? It wasn't in my control. I'm so embarrassed. I... I feel so bad for my family. I'm sure they're so embarrassed by me. My friends, they're worried about me. You guys were right, okay? I'm I'm going crazy. I am. I I get it. I I need help, okay? I fully admit that. I fully admit that I am crazy. I don't have, I shouldn't be easy on myself, okay? I am crazy. I'm okay. I'm crazy, but I'm okay. I'm crazy. And I freaking love it, baby! Let's go! It is incredible. You guys don't understand. It is incredible to be crazy. I'm free. I'm free from suffering. I'm free from insecurities. I'm free from all mental worry. I'm free from the self. I'm free from this restricted thought, this restricted psychological prison that was Connor Murphy. It was prison. It was suffering. It's this restricted thought. I had to behave in a certain way. I had to please people. I had to care about what other people think. It doesn't matter. It's not real. It's not real. It's a mental construct in your brain. I get to act whatever I want. Acting is not the falsehood. It's the reality. I have complete control over my emotions. I can be happy if I want to. I can be sad if I want to. I can be normal if I want to. The external world has no control. But it has control over you. Guys, just listen to the rest of this video because I'm about to tell you some profound things about happiness. About true happiness. And I know that your ego might be so strong. Connor, I don't need your help. I know how to be happy. Uh-huh. Does that sound happy to you? If you leave a dislike video, a dislike on this video, is that happy? Or do you get offended in a little way? Oh, Connor, he's going crazy. He doesn't think how I think. I'm going to dislike this video. Is that happy? Is that happiness, huh? Do you want to be feeling that suffering on the inside? No, you don't. Now, a lot of you, your ego's been weakened. There are a lot of incredibly open-minded people on this channel, and I think you can learn a lot from it. So first, by the way, this is not clickbait. I am having a mental breakdown, okay? The self, the idea of Connor Murphy, the ego, it's a mental construct in the brain, that's it. And it's breaking down, oh, it's breaking down hardcore. I have a confession. I'm gonna confess how crazy I am. It's gonna be fun. And I do need your help. I need your help to change the world. Well, 
I don't need it. I mean, the world's gonna change whether you like it or not, but. So let's talk about happiness first of all, okay? Because I was where you're at. I was searching for happiness externally. I was just lucky enough to realize that it didn't work at 22 years old. Most people go their whole lives searching in this way. And they never realize that doesn't work because they just keep searching and keep searching. They need the next best thing. More money, more girls, more vacations. That'll make me happy. <laughs> well, I had my ideal life at 22. My ideal life. I was in LA, I was getting 10 million views a month on YouTube, making more money than I've ever had in my life. More money than I could ever ask for, than I knew what to do with. Girls, friends, prestige, fame. It was incredible. But for some reason, I was less happy than I ever was in my entire life. Why? Because I was searching for happiness and I thought that that life situation would make it happen and it didn't. Do you have any idea what a spiraling depression that can throw someone into? Think about celebrities. How do you guys not realize? Let's just look at the world. Look at celebrities. They have everything, fame, fortune, everything they could ask for. Their depression rate is higher. Their self-harm rate is higher. They're some of the most miserable people because they have everything and they realize that doesn't make them happy. That's so depressing. But, but, you'll see a lot of celebrities that are woke, they're awakened, they're enlightened. Why? Because they got there, they got to success. They realized it wasn't the answer. They were depressed and they found another way out. They found a way to happiness. They found a way to rid themselves of this horrible construct of the self. Oh, Connor, but I need the construct of the self to operate in society. I want to operate in society. Won't there be evil if everyone is just crazy like you? <laughs> Look at the world! The world is crazy, there's violence, there's evil! If everyone was like me, there would be zero evil. I feel like this is a vessel. Consciousness is just, is just inhabiting this vessel and expressing itself. I have nothing to do with this body, I have nothing to do with my thoughts. I'm just consciousness, expressing it. Expressing itself. I'm a vessel, I'm an avatar. The whole universe is me. I am consciousness. Do you have to tell someone not to chop off their arm? No. No. There doesn't have to be rules anymore. If everyone got here, no one would want to harm anything. I can't harm a bug anymore because it's an expression of myself. It's an expression of consciousness. This might seem like some weird woo-woo concept, but it's attainable by everyone. I used to think it was impossible. I was searching for happiness out of desperation. I'm gonna go down this spiritual path in the 1% chance that it might make me happy. And it was cool because it gradually, you know, actually increased my happiness because you'll find meditation physiologically has a lot of good effects on the brain. Makes your stress go away. Makes you more present. So I thought, cool, this is helping. But what I didn't realize, that is the smallest of the reward. All of a sudden, boom! Through enough work, you realize the truth. And it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. So I know, I know you're not truly happy right now. Can you express yourself like this? Depression is the opposite of expression. Where does the word come from? You're depressed. You're not expressing what you want to express. You have this restricted thought. Society is making you restricted. You're afraid to be like this because you think that you'll be called crazy. Oh, you'll be called crazy on the outside, but people will be envious on the inside. They wish they had this. They wish they could break out of depression. The ego will tell them, no, that is the wrong way because I wanna be right. The ego wants to be right, not happy. That's the insanity. The ego, the self wants to be right. It wants to live in reality, whatever it thinks that is, instead of being happy. Well, the true self, the true self wants to be happy. That's all it wants. All it wants is to be happy and know the truth because those things are the same. That's why I'm so confident because it's inevitable, don't you get it? The world will keep searching forever and ever and ever until it finds the truth, until it becomes happy. You can have a religious person who's 99%, sure. They're gonna keep searching because that 1% is making them suffer. 
If you're someone who still believes in death, that you're a temp temporary little leaf that's gonna fall down, wither and die, it's impossible to be happy. You could trick yourself, you could try, you could try and trick yourself, but in the back of your mind, there's always that construct that my life on this earth, my life in this universe is temporary. You can never be happy. Until people experience it, you can't have faith, you have to experience this incredible truth yourself, then you'll truly be happy. And the world doesn't stop. The world doesn't end suffering either until it realizes this. So is this crazy? <laughs> Let's talk about crazy. I have two definitions of crazy, the societal definition of crazy and my definition of crazy. Let's talk about the societal definition of crazy. The societal definition of crazy is simply, it's a way to describe someone who is different than the average person, much different. By that definition of my crazy, hell yeah, I'm crazy, I'm insane. I'm insane. But wait a minute, whoa. Let's look at the average person. The average person is depressed. The average person hates their life. They're tired, they hate this restrictedness of the self. They're suffering. If your ego is low enough, at least you can realize that you're suffering. Some people don't even realize it. Some people are experiencing these emotions, they, they don't want to experience it. But they just think it's normal. They think, yeah, I'm happier than most people, so I'm not suffering. <laughs> oh no, you're suffering. You're suffering hardcore. The average person is depressed. We're finally realizing it. We now have a name for it. Depression didn't exist. We didn't have this, you know, we didn't prescribe people for this thing called depression hundreds and hundreds of years ago. We're finally realizing that's a thing because it's getting worse. Mental illness is just on the rise. Society is just making the ego more restricted, more restricted. The self, more powerful, more powerful. It's getting us further and further from the truth. And it's causing people to suffer so badly. That's the average person. You know what the true insanity is? Wanting to be that average person. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're listening to doctors for your own happiness. Doctors aren't happy. Don't you understand? They're some of the least happy people in the world to put on a fake front. But trust me, trust me, hardly any doctor believes that there's an afterlife. They might say they do, but they're too invested in science. There's always this thought, they're probably 70% sure at best, they're suffering. Doctors have also had success. They spend years and years of torture trying to become a doctor. Then they get there because they think that that's what would make them happy. They have all this money, they have this wife, they have this family, and they realize they're not happy. Now, some doctors are different. Some doctors are actually working on being enlightened. There's a lot of science that's actually going into waking people up from a scientific level because there's science behind it. But most doctors aren't in that area of science and they're depressed. <laughs> and we're taking advice on our own happiness from someone who's depressed. Look at the insanity. It's like a basketball player getting advice from a basketball coach who's never picked up a basketball in his life. Who should you take advice from? Someone who's depressed or someone who's happy? Someone who found it. It's a no brainer. That's the thing, it's a no-brainer. Do you know where no brain comes from? Because a brain, it's a limiter. Our whole world isn't in our brain. Our brain limits us to see part of the world. We know that there's more to be experienced. We know that there's Wi-Fi waves, radio waves, we proved it through science and we can't see it, why? Because of our brain. I knew a guy in the psych ward. He was sniffing markers, don't do that, by the way. He killed off part of his brain. He swore to me that he could see Wi-Fi waves. And I believe him. Because the brain is a limiter. Enlightenment is literally a no-brainer. It's getting back to your natural state. It's unlearning. Let's talk about my definition of crazy. My definition of crazy is not being in control. Sounds pretty good, right? Think of a crazy person. Why are you afraid of a crazy person? Because you don't think that they're in control. You think they can, whoa, do something crazy at any time. <laughs> Is that me? Do I have control or not? <laughs> Let's look at this video. I've acted all sorts of different emotions and obviously it was planned out. Don't you agree? 
I was gonna act all sad to get people, you know, watching and, oh my gosh, he's gonna have a mental breakdown. I was right! I knew he was crazy! And then BOOM! Wound a part of their ego. Make them realize that what they think is true isn't always true. You know that I meant to act sad, that I meant to act happy, and that I meant to act normal. Because I have complete control of my emotions. Nothing externally can phase me. Don't you get it? Anything could happen. Someone could be walking down the street, call me the worst name ever. Insult me. It doesn't affect me, unless I wanted to. I have complete control over my emotions. Complete control. And I think you can see that. Try me. I'm acting normal right now. I can, oh, let me act like a, a normal person in society who's just depressed and apathetic. I can act like anything I want. You'll realize that true acting is becoming the part. This is why so many actors are enlightened. Look at Tim Carey. He got enlightened through acting because he realized there's no difference. If you get deep enough into the part, you become that person. Self is an illusion. You get to be whoever you want. And I have that control. Let's look at you. Unless you're enlightened if you're if you're enlightened, by the way, these videos probably aren't for you because it goes a lot deeper than this. This is a lot of surface level stuff. But if you're the average person, look at your life. What if you lost your job? What if your girlfriend broke up with you? Would you have control over your emotions? No, you wouldn't. You'd be sad, you'd be depressed, and you wouldn't want to be. That's the thing. Sadness can be beautiful if you're not attached to it, if you realize that you can break free at any time, that you can experience any emotion you want. We watch movies that are sad because sadness is a cool emotion. It's cool. So you can be sad if you want to, but the problem with you, you are suffering because you will be sad over some external thing and you don't want to be sad, you just want to be happy and that's where suffering comes in. So if I'm in control of my emotions and you're not, who's crazy? Let's talk about the doctors. I was in a psych ward for two weeks and in the truth video, I proved I proved, look up the video, the truth, Connor Murphy. I proved that I manipulated the doctors like my little puppets to tell the story of Jesus. I wanted to be in the psych ward. One, it was confidential, right? No one could know if I was alive or not. And two, at the end, I would have some sort of credibility because the doctors would say, hey, he's not insane, so maybe you should listen to him. I tricked the doctors into thinking I'm insane. They thought the goodbye video was real, don't you get it? I proved the goodbye video was acting. And they thought it was real. You know what that's called? Delusion. You'll see that the truth video has many other teachings in it. The doctors were delusional. Somehow the best psychologists in the world, I manipulated them like my little puppets. They were never in control. They had this delusion that they were in control. But I was in control the entire time. I was doing it for this month long YouTube stunt to try and wake people up. So who's crazy? I'm where I've wanted to be at all times, at all times. I want to wake up the world. I want to make the world a better place. And whether you believe me or not, it's happening. Look at even the dislikes on this video. I get to choose the dislikes. I can bring people from my other channel, Connor Murphy, Connor Murphy Vlogs, Instagram, people with the highest egos in the world to dislike this video. Why? Because it causes this controversy. People realize that there's this controversy, that there is this truth, there has to be. It makes people want it more. It makes people search. Or it could be, that could be reverse psychology. <laughs> so you won't dislike this video, I don't know. But it's all a plan, I do know. <laughs> Everything's been a plan, and the plan is just getting started. You have no idea. You have no idea how crazy this plan's about to get. This is nothing. The truth series wasn't the end of the plan. This isn't the end of the plan. Just wait. Oh my gosh, just wait. Just wait. Maybe the next video, maybe the one after that. We'll see. <laughs> but it's about to be crazy. And everything's been planned out. Everything has been in my control the entire time. I've always been exactly where I've wanted to be. And I proved that in the truth video. So who's crazy? The person who knows? Who's exactly where he wants to be? Or the doctors who are delusional? <laughs> They're delusional. They thought the goodbye video was fake. Ask yourself that question. 
Now, Connor, how are you so confident? You're arrogant. You say you lost your ego, but you're arrogant. You think you know the truth. Do some more research. Research only hinders the truth. The truth is something that we have unlearned. Now we need to unlearn our knowledge to get back to the truth. So literature, science. Now certain scientific pathways can get us closer, but most just gives us this false understanding where we can't find the truth anymore. It's covered up by this ego, this self. We have to lose the self. So why am I so confident? Because it's inevitable, don't you see? The world will keep searching forever until they find the truth. And this is the only way, the only way you'll stop searching is when you know there's a place you can get to when you know it's bliss, it's ecstasy, it's incredible. And all I'm trying to do is get you there. That's all I'm trying to do. It is my life's mission now because it is so incredible. I just wanna get you there. And so all these videos have a purpose. Yeah, absolutely. I acted crazy in that, that video because I wanted to. I can talk normal to you right now. Oh, he's still pressed for words. He's, he's still having these delusions. He's bipolar. He's in mania. What is mania? What is mania? Mania is being happy and not afraid to express it. <laughs> How is that bad? That's insanity for thinking that mania is bad. Mania is only bad if it's followed by a depressive episode. But I can't be depressed anymore. I can't suffer, and you'll see. The test of time will show you. Don't fall for any more of these videos. If there's another video where I'm, oh, I'm sad, <laughs> I'm so sad, don't fall for it. It won't be true because I am the happiest man alive, or at least tied <laughs> for the happiest man alive. A lot of people have found the truth. That's the thing. And all their stories match up perfectly. All their knowledge matches up perfectly because I'm not spitting out knowledge that I learned from some book. It's all coming within. I'm talking to you from actual experience. Don't you get it? I'm not reciting Eckhart Tolle's books. I read his book a long time ago. I had no idea what it meant. It made no sense to me. But now I've experienced it and I'm just talking to you from experience. So that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to wake you guys up. And I won't stop until it happens, until the world wakes up. <laughs> this is my life now. I can go back to making Conor Murphy videos if I want. Yo, what is up guys? Connor Murphy here. We're about to interview some girl about some subject that doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, I could do that. I could. I might. It's fun for me. This is the thing is this doesn't take away the fun from normal things in life. It makes them even better. I can't wait to go out and interview girls. Like, it's freedom. There's no social anxiety. It's incredible. So I might do that. We'll see. But this is more important than anything. You'll realize that happiness is the only thing that's important. Happiness matters more than anything in the world. And people have just forgotten that. Think about it. What is the reason you do anything in life? What's the reason? Why do you go and try and get that good job? Why do you try and get that hot girlfriend? Why do you try and start a family? It's because you think that this makes you happy. And you can still do those things. Those things are great, but it's, it's fun. All of a sudden, it's just a cool little video game. Most incredible video game in the world. But you're not so attached to it because it's not temporary. You are forever. Everything you do in life is just trying to make you happy. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that there's a shortcut. You don't have to try all those things that don't work. You can try them for fun, but not for happiness. I know how to be happy because I found it. I just want to share it with you guys. And I'm sorry if this video seemed clickbaity. I'm just trying to change the world. I want people to watch because this message is the most important message I've ever said in my life. So that's what these videos on this channel are gonna be. I'm trying to get you there. And I think I have a cool way to get there. A way that's different from a lot of people. I think a lot of teachers are teaching this, they're teaching the concept, but they're not teaching the path. And I think I have a good way to teach the path. So if you really want true happiness, if you think there's a 1% chance that I could actually get you there, well, I think that's worth spending a little time. It's the meaning of life. It's everything. Happiness. You can be happy. Everything you once thought impossible was impossible is possible. It's crazy. You can actually be happy. You can know the truth of the universe. You can know that you are forever. Right here on this earth. Don't you think that that's worth just a little bit of time watching YouTube videos? Yeah, it is. So, like, comment, and subscribe! I'll see you guys tomorrow.